Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, Hi. Hi, good evening. How's it going? I'm, I'm a little tired. Tired? Why? Yes. Have, you, have you worked today? No, I had to go to the super. Okay. Market, okay. That, that was tired, I guess. You <laughs> wait online, right? You had to wait online. Yeah. Hello, Christian. I'm sorry, uh, Chris, Christina. No, what is it? <laughs> sorry, no. What's her name? I forgot. Enrique, good evening. How's it going? Good. Good. Doing great. Thanks for asking. Hey, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Hi. How's it going? Fine, teacher. Great. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Richard, how's it going? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm studying. You're studying right now. Wow. Okay, we're about to start studying again. I'm sorry, uh, is this Jamilet? No. What? What's your she's, name? She's Delia. Delia. Okay, Delia. Let me, ch let me change your name, okay? Is Delia Torres? Delia. D-E-L-I-A. Is that right? D-E-L-I-A. D-E-L-I-A. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, like that? Delia Torres? Yeah. Or Dalia? No, Delia. No. Okay. Delia. D-E-L-I-A. -D I just, I just changed your name. <laughs> this is, you can only see my my head, I think, right? Yeah. Anyway, okay. I think I'm gonna take that off. Okay, guys. So, how's it going, Delia? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> this is a, a much work. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of work. Okay. Good. Oh, crap. Sorry. Just one second. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're, we have Irania waiting too. Okay, guys, today we have to study the simple future. We're going to talk about the simple future in both ways, the use of going to and the use of will. Okay. It's very simple. So we're gonna acquire, we're gonna acquire the structure first, and then move on with some exercises so you can learn um, to use the future. Okay, we are seven right now. Just waiting for the rest of you. Give me one second. Okay, so let's go. Let's start uh, learning about the future with Will and going to. If you haven't checked the platform, on the platform, this is what you should see. It's a video with Jose, with Joe, talking about um, the future with Will and going to. So we're gonna listen to the video for a minute, okay? Um, so you can have an idea of how this topic is used. Okay, please pay attention. Take notes if you have your notebook around. Okay, let's go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes 
is I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. Okay, so right now we have an audio. Please pay attention to the audio. I will make you questions about the audio, okay? Please pay attention. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present... Okay, before we jump into, before we jump into the grammar, into the structure, uh, can you tell me what is the audio about? What was the audio about? What is the topic of the audio? What is the audio about? Vacation. A vacation. Very good. A vacation. Hey, good pronunciation, Veronica. I like that. Vacation. Very good. What else? What's uh, going They are planning about uh, because they have two weeks off. They have two weeks off. Great. Okay. What else? Someone else? Delia, Richard, Pedro, Kelvin, Irania, Enrique. What else is going on with the audio? It's just plans. It's just plans for a trip. Where is the trip to? Where are they planning to go? Uh, this uh, she planned up uh, surfing and fishing. Surfing and fishing. Oh, that's that's what they are planning to do. Okay, yes. they are planning to do these activities. Where? Where? In the beach. At the beach. Very good. At the beach. Great job. Very good, Irania. Great job. Okay, so simple. The future works for uh, plans. If you use will, it's plans. If you use going to, it's uh, decisions previously taken. So let's continue with the audio and Keep an eye on the structure, okay? We're gonna see the structure right now, okay? The structure. What we wanna do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans, or when you express things about the future. But what we're gonna learn in this class is that we're gonna use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're gonna use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're gonna take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket, you already got permission from your job, so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're gonna use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but 
you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. Okay, so do you have any questions about so quickly the use, about the different uses? Any questions? Sure. Yes. Uh, I understand uh, the difference uh, between the uh, use of uh, the going, the going, uh, go, uh, with will. So you are not understanding the difference between going to and will. Is that what you said, Kelvin? You are not understanding. The, the difference, the difference. Okay, good. What's the difference? Let's talk about the difference, okay? So, let's take a look at the following image, okay? It's very simple. And let's go part by part. So to begin with, be going to, the uses. This is used to express future plans, okay? Future plans, to express predictions based on evidence. That's the use of going to. But this is when you are sure, when you have making a decision already, okay? You have a decision, you have evidence, that you are going to the beach, for example. So you are sure you have the money. Everything is set, okay? Everything is set and you're good to go. Okay, estás seguro de que vas a ir? Todo está listo? Estás listo para salir, okay? That's the use of be going to. Because as I told you yesterday, the meaning of I am going to is yo voy a. I'm going to take a shower. Me voy a bañar. Yo me voy a bañar. Okay. I'm going to eat pork tonight. Yo voy a comer cerdo esta noche. Okay. Ya está hecho. Está cocinado. So that's for sure. You're going to. Now, if you are not sure of your plans in the future, we use will. We use will, okay? How? To make promises, okay? Kelvin, can you, can you lend me $5? Can you lend me $5? I will pay you tomorrow, okay? I will pay you tomorrow. Give me $5, okay? And that's a promise. So, not sure, right? Okay, to express predictions with no evidence. There's no evidence if you use will, okay? I could say that, I don't know, um, ah, I don't wanna go political here, but let's say uh, we will change, we will change the, uh, oh my God, we will change these uh, people in the, the Congress. We will change the Congress on 2021. Vamos a cambiar la asamblea en 2021. Okay? We will change it. Me equivoqué, dije vamos a. Cuidado con eso. 
cambiaremos sería el futuro. We will change. Cambiaremos. Okay. The, the Congress on 2021. It's a prediction. I have no evidence. Okay. To express spontaneous decisions. Spontaneous decisions. So, for example, when you propose to a woman, you say, will you marry me? Will you marry me? You see? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, I will. No, I won't, right? And that's a spontaneous decision. I will. Okay? Got it? That's okay. the easy. So, be going to, for sure. Will, uh, maybe, maybe not, okay? Now, let's talk about the structure. How do we use the structure? First, we have the positive, the affirmation, okay? The affirmative sentence. You have a subject, okay? Let's go with the going to first. You have the subject. Then you have the verb to be, okay? The verb to be. What's the verb to be? Okay, M is R. Lo voy a decir en español. El auxiliar de el futuro con going to no es going to. El auxiliar es el verbo to be conjugado. M is R. Ok. A ese, lo voy a decir en español. A ese le agregas el not para hacer una negativa. Y a ese traes al principio para hacer una pregunta cerrada. Ok. That's it. Then you have going to. Going to, going to, okay? If it is a negative, I said, the verb to be is not. And then in all forms, positive, negative, and question, you have the base verb, okay? The form, the base form of the verb, okay? And the complement, okay? So let's take a look. Writing, let's write it. Let me write it for you here. So again, Let's make a sentence. Uh, let's play something here. Uh, Amilcar, give me a subject. They. They, perfect. Okay. Uh, Veronica, give me the auxiliary, which in this case is the verb to be. What's the verb to be for they? Are. They are, thank you. Irania, what is next? Can hear you. No, we can hear you. Yes, that's right. I, I read her lips. I read her lips. Okay. Going to. Exactly. They are going to. Okay. Give me a verb, Kelvin. Which? Hmm. Which? A verb. Uh, they're going to swim okay now give me the compliment Delia I go on uh -uh. they are going to swim at the beach at the beach in the beach at, okay in the beach mm -hmm. okay they're going to swim in the beach the beach okay. Hmm. Okay, they're going to sleep at the beach. The swing uh, in the beach. Okay, oh, let's... In the ocean? Or in the ocean? No. The ocean. In the, the ocean. 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 Right. They're going to swim in the beach. It's possible. Yeah, it is possible. In the ocean, in the pool. Very ah. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Enrique, let's go with the negative. Can you make this sentence negative? They are aren't. Aren't. Perfect. Aren't. Traction. Yes. They aren't going. Uh -huh. Yeah. The company is the same. Very good. Very good. Great job. That's the um, 
the question form, Richard. What are, what are you going? Can hear you. Okay. What okay. are? What are? This is a closed question. What they are? No, it's a closed question. So remember, you always start with the auxiliary. What are? Uh -uh. It's a closed question. Are. Yes, are, very good. So you start with the auxiliary. Are, they. Are they. Mm -hmm. Continue. Going to. Uh -huh. Yes, Richard? Are they going to? Perfect. Same thing. The complement is always the same. Are they going to swim in the beach? And yes, if you want to make a WH question, thank you, Richard. Great job. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Pedro, Peter, how do you make a WH question with this? Uh, Pedro? Uh, where are they going to swim in the beach? No, where, where are they going to swim? Okay. Bien, lo dejo abierto. ¿Quién me puede dar una WH referente? O sea, la oración anterior o la pregunta anterior hacerla con una WH. Uh, Again? Again? Otra vez? When? When? Okay. When, when what? When, the when they are. Hmm. When? No. When they. Mm. The auxiliary. When are they? When are they? Okay. Going to swim. Yeah. Going. Yeah, it's the same complement. Right? When are they going to swim? In the beach. the beach. When are they going to swim? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Look at look at the position. Now, le voy a hacer maruchan cerebro ahorita un poquito. Eh? What? Can somebody? Picture. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh, the word is the way. Perdón, el where también aplica. Ahorita vamos a ver eso, Kelvin. Los estoy retando. Siguiente WH. What? Where are they going? Where are they going? Make the question with WH. What are they going to do? Perfect. What are they going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? La respuesta está en la pregunta anterior o en la cerrada. They are going to swim in the beach. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget. The answer to the short question will be... Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't go here. So the answer to this question, to the closed question, will be yes, they are. Okay. Affirmative. Oh, no, they aren't. Okay. okay, so moving on. What are they going to do? Okay, the answer will be they are going to swim in the beach. Okay. Where? Where? Somebody? Where are they going to swim? Where are they going to swim? Perfect. Where are they going to swim? What's the answer? In the beach. Okay. I think. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta con esto? Estamos perdidos? No. Sigamos con WH. Los reto, eh, los estoy retando. 
Who? Huh? Who are? Mm -mm. Bueno, sí, sí, se puede. Who are? Who are they? Yes, who are they? Going to swim. Going to swim in the beach. Ojo. With. Who are they going to swim in the beach with? Con quien. Ok, ojo. Con quien. Y siempre vas a tener, casi siempre vas a tener ese who con el with al final. La preposición with va a ir acompañando el who cuando quieras saber quién va a realizar esa acción en este caso. Who are they going to swim in the beach with? ¿Con quién van a ir a nadar en la playa? ¿Eh? Podría, podría haber preguntado, who is going to swim in the beach? Who is going to swim in the beach? Y la respuesta hubiese sido, they, they are, o solo they are. ¿Sí se entiende? Who is going to swim in the beach? They are. Okay. Hacemos una más. Un chico. Yes. Enrique. Yes, teacher. Yes. No, no podríamos poner el with antes del who. Sí, de una manera informal. With who are they going to swim the beach? Yes. Pero estaría uno, muy traducido del español en inglés, y dos, gramaticalmente incorrecto. ¿Quieren? Ok. ¿Quieren saber más de ese tema? Busquen en Google preposiciones al final de preguntas abiertas. Okay? Or prepositions at the end of WH questions. Por ahí hay un artículo sobre eso que explica lo, todos los preposiciones que son después de qué. H. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Good question. Which? <laughs> Which are they going? Which are they going? Mm. Which siempre va a ir acompañado de un objeto. Porque which quiere, dar, quiere decir cuál y da opción entre uno o más objetos. En este caso, beach, hay un montón de beaches, right? There's a lot of beaches. So, which... No? Do you give up? Uh, we could use car. Which car are they going to use? Perfect. Which car are they going to use? Okay. To go to the beach. I suppose it's to go to the beach. Okay. Más orientado a la pregunta anterior. Which beach are they going? Ah, yeah. Otro ejemplo. Which two? Which two? Ese, ese es una, un tema que deberían de buscar, de verdad. Which two? Y aquí si se diría feo, Enrique, decir To which beach are they going? Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so which beach are they going to? Okay. Why are they going to beach? Uh, uh, why are they going to beach for? What's the purpose? 
something like that. Okay, that's just an idea, I'm sorry. Okay, so like that, you can make a lot of samples, right, and keep practicing with this. So, structure, struct, sub, auxiliary. Hold on, okay. So again, subject, auxiliary, going to, base, verb, complement. Okay? I repeat, subject, auxiliary, plus not, okay, going to, the verb on its base form, and the complement. To make a question, I move the auxiliary to the beginning, okay, auxiliary, subject, going to, the verb, and the complement. Don't forget the question mark. Okay, good. And to respond to this closed question, yes, they are, no, they aren't. Okay. Okay, and to make an open question, you just add a WH at the beginning and the structure is basically the same. Now let's talk about contraction. You can use the verb to be with the subject and say, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay? You can, but make sure you use the right one, right? You, okay, are, I'm sorry, you are, or oh, you're, you're, you're going to, you're going to. The same, second person, you say they, okay? They're, they're, they're going to. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, is, his, okay, he's going to. Okay, in other words, in other words, please be true. You, okay, okay, you say, R, okay. And for he, he, and it, you add the apostrophe, is. This is simple. This is just the verb to be. Remember, just the verb to be. Am, you, we, they, are, he, she, it, is. Oh, am, your, we're, their, his, she's, it's. Okay, so far so good, so far so good, great. Okay, now, how do you speak fast with this grammar tense, okay? You can contract this like gonna. Look at that, hasta el corrector me dice, no hombre, no hagas eso, mira. ¿Por qué es? Si lo voy a decir en español, esto es caliche, okay? Para hablar rápido, podrías ocupar esta uh, pequeña frase nada más. Y luego ir agregando um, lugares, ¿ok? I'm going to go to the beach. Recuerden, y eso no se los he dicho, el artículo the se ocupa para nombres comunes nada más. Ojo con eso, también. Lugares comunes. I'm going to go to the beach. Oi, I'm going to go to the beach, I'm going to go to the dentist, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to go to my family's uh, house, then I'm going to go to the supermarket. I'm going to go to, go to, okay, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the beach, I'm going to go to the supermarket, I'm going to go to the church. Yeah, solo voy agregando eh, lugares. He's going to go to. He's gonna go to, you're gonna go to, they're gonna go to, gonna go to, gonna go to. Okay? Like that. Gonna go to. Y esa es una manera fácil y rápida de hablar. ¿Qué es lo que abarca gonna? Al decir gonna, estás diciendo going to. Estás contractuando, uniendo eso. Pero ojo, les aclaro muchísimo, eso no es inglés formal. No se puede ocupar en un 
a un nivel profesional, salvo que tengas la confianza, digamos, con tu jefe o en tu entorno de trabajo, ¿ok? Good. Gonna go. Ok. Questions. Questions. Doubts. Bien. Última aclaración. Específicamente, repito, estás diciendo, yo voy a ir a tal acción. Tú vas a ir a tal acción. Él va a ir a tal acción. Planes que ya están hechos, que está más que claro que se van a llevar a cabo. Y no hay duda de que se van a llevar a cabo. Do you have any questions? No questions. Ok. El I... verbo siempre, teacher, el verbo siempre permanece, no cambia, vea. Perfect, yes. It's always the base form. Siempre es la forma base del verbo. Very good. Ahí no hay ING, ahí no hay pasado, ED, nada. Forma base del verbo. Excelente observación, Delia. Ok. Neida, any questions? No? Ok. ¿Todo bien? Ok, veamos que también. Ustedes tienen 10 mil dólares ahorita en sus bolsillos. So, we're going to go traveling, ok? So, we're going to go traveling. I need you to tell me where are you going to go? Where are you going to go with $10,000? $10,000. So where are you going to go? One, two, three. I'm going to start with Irania. Irania, where are you going to go? I have problems the internet teacher. With the internet, okay. So, but I I can hear you well. I hear you. Where are you going to go? Okay, let me do this really quick. Okay. The question is, where are you going to go? The scenario, scenario is you have $10,000 to travel anywhere. Okay? Ese es el escenario. You have $10,000 to travel anywhere. Where are you going to go? Just give me one sentence. Okay. No. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the. Uh, England, maybe. Perfect. I'm going to go to England. Excellent. Very good. Easy. You see. Very good. Okay. Now, eso de la contracción. Mira. I'm gonna go to, go to, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to. Perfect. I'm gonna go to England, boy. I'm gonna go to England. I'm gonna go to England. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with Richard. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to the Panama City. Going to go. Okay, cuidado con eso. The Panama City. No, I'm going to go to Panama. Or Panama City. Okay. I'm going to Panama City. Go to Panama City. Les ruego que traten de unir esto como go to, go to. Porque que la T se convierte en una R en la pronunciación al estar entre dos vocales. Ok. Go to, go to. Ok. I'm going to go to Panama City. I'm going to go to Panama City. Perfect. Ok. Kelvin, where are you going to go? Estoy tratando de leer en los años. 
I am going to go to eh, Guatemala. Oh. Guatemala. Okay. Guatemala. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm going to go to Guatemala. I'm going to go. Guatemala. Wow. Was that a thunder? It's a thunder? Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Hey, Pedro, where are you going to go? Um, I'm going to go to Japan, I think. Okay. Ahora quiero que le tomen una foto mental a esto que pusimos. Okay. Foto mental. Okay. Mental picture really quick. And we're going to go with Enrique. Enrique. Yes, teacher. Where is Kelvin going to go? Kelvin. Yeah, where is Kelvin going to go? Guatemala. Okay, Kelvin is going to? Guatemala. Guatemala. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Where is Kelvin going to go? Let's go with... Neida. Neida, where is Irania going to go? I'm going to go Paris and last England and Germany. Oh, many places. Many places. England, but, okay, where is Irania going to go? Sorry, I, I can't. I can hear you. Where is Irania going to go? She is going to. I'm sorry, I... England. <laughs> yes, she's going to England. Perfect. She's yeah. going to England. She's going to England, or she's going to go to England. Ahí puede surgir la pregunta. Okay. A ver, ¿por qué esto no es futuro, chicos? Cuidado con esto, ¿eh? Esto ya no sería futuro, eso sería, y se lo voy a decir rápido por cuestiones de tiempo. Ok, she's going to England sería presente continuo. ¿Recuerdan del presente continuo? Sí, siempre lo mismo. Is es el auxiliar y el ing se le agrega a todos los verbos. She's going to England. La diferencia entre el presente continuo y el futuro con going to es que después de going to viene un verbo. Okay. She's going to go to, or she's going to go to. Ok. Muy similar. En uno estoy diciendo, ella se va para Inglaterra, o ella en el futuro estaría diciendo, ella se va a ir a Inglaterra. Largo. Ok. Let's go with the future with will. Okay. Tenemos 17 minutos para empezar. Will por sí solo. Will por sí solo quiere decir voluntad. Si le recuerdan en los picapiedras o en algunas caricaturas, se miraba que decía last will. La última voluntad. O sea, testament. Somebody's testament. Okay, last will. La última voluntad. Ok. Solo una curiosidad. Ok. Let's go with the structure. First, you need a subject. Ok. Ok. Then you need the auxiliary, que debe estar presente en todo momento. Will también es un modal. Ok. Ojo con eso. Y luego verán los modales. You. Luego tengo el auxiliar, que en este caso es will. Ok. Luego el, el verbo en su forma base. You will eat. Beans tonight. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you will eat beans tonight. Let's go with the negative. Okay. You, y ojo con esto. Puedo decir you will not. Okay. Pero la forma contractuada de will not, 
ojo, la forma contractuada de will not es won. Cuidado, no vayan a ocupar las dos cosas. O es will not o es won. Ok, y el complemento sigue siendo el mismo. Ok, you won't eat beans tonight. What's the question? El auxiliar viene al principio. You say, Will, would you eat beans tonight? Question one. Okay, WH, y así como lo vimos anteriormente, lo mismo. Why will you eat beans tonight? Eso les decía desde el primer día que nos conocimos esta semana. Hay que identificar el auxiliar que estoy utilizando. Marcarlo con otro color. Hace este ejercicio por lo menos cinco veces en el día. Y usando la ley de Pareto te vas a aprender por lo menos cinco verbos. Por lo menos dos verbos todos los días. Por lo menos dos verbos se te van a ir quedando, te lo aseguro. Ok. So, marqué el verbo con otro color. Las nuevas palabras que vayas encontrando con otro color y tu cerebro lo irá absorbiendo sin que tú te des cuenta. So, siempre fíjate en la posición. Okay? You will not or you won't. Questions. No questions? Yes. ¿Qué sucede si al pronunciar usted con la palabra going to eh, en lugar del will, eh, qué se entiende cuando se, se, se usa la otra palabra y no el will? Excelente. Aquí estoy ocupando going to. Ok, yo voy a comer frijoles. Yo comeré frijoles. ¿Ok? Y aquí estoy ocupando el huevo. ¿Por qué? Porque will le agrega la partícula are, esa are al verbo. ¿Ok? Esa partícula de, de probabilidad, de futuro. Yo comeré, tú correrás, él vivirá. ¿Ya? En cambio, going to es yo, yo Voy a comer, él va a leer, él va a vivir, ¿ya? Uh -huh. Very good, good question. Ok, and last, última cosa. I do video, ok. Aquí no cambia, no hay ninguna distinción. En you y Barri. Recordemos que uno es tú y el otro es usted. Ok. Good. So you have I'll, you, He'll, ojo, it'll, eat, it'll, you, will, they'll. Ok, they'll. Algo que yo ocupo es la fonética. Suena la palabra I'll, igual, I'll, pasillo, I'll. Esto suena como, como el mes, como decir you lie. You lie. Quítale la Y y dice you. You. Ojo. Uh, lengua se enrolla y queda enrollada con la L. ¿eh? La L es una lengua enrollada. Yo. Heal. Fonética. Heal. Heal. Ok. Heal. ¿Qué quiere decir colina? Ok. Shield. Suena un poco a shield. Marvel. And the, end, the agents of shield, shield, shield. Okay, that's it. Okay, Italy, so Italy, Italy, Italy. Okay, 
okay? You, ya lo veíamos, you like, okay? Will, suena como will, will, rueda. And Dale, suena el nombre, Dale, Dale. ¿Qué japonés se oye, teacher? ¿Se oye? ¿Qué japonés se oye, le <risa> Sí, sí, deo. Ayo, a los. Very good. Very good. Any questions? No. Ok. No questions. Ahora, eh, ya de manera así, holgada les diré, a un americano no se detiene mucho a pensar, en mi experiencia, ¿no? Un americano no se detiene mucho a pensar si estás ocupando bien o no el futuro. Ellos ocupan going to o will. ¿Ok? So, no, se, no se clave mucho con eso, hijo, le estoy pensando, estoy usando going to y no estoy seguro de que voy a realizar esta acción. Ok. Uy, ocupé will y sí va a llevar a cabo esta acción. Híjole. ¿Sí me explico? No se claven con eso. Ocúpense de esto, de la estructura y adquirir la estructura con going to y con will. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? ¿No? Ok. Oh, una palabra muy... Importante en su vida. Willpower. Okay, willpower. Espera que la encuentre con Ida o con un guión. What is willpower? Fuerza de voluntad. Willpower. It takes a lot of willpower to learn something new. It takes a lot of willpower. It takes a lot of willpower to do exercise. Okay. Tengo mucha fuerza de voluntad. Ok. Questions. Preguntas, señores. No se queden con la duda que es nuestra última clase. Por cierto, eh, espero que hayan realizado todos los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Completaron todo hasta los últimos uh, exámenes. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta con eso? Teacher, ¿cómo hacer para que usted nos siga dando clases? <risa> Me voy a quedar debiendo la respuesta porque no lo sé. Me, me gusta la forma en que da las clases porque siento que en estos ¿qué? tres días, cuatro días que, que, que hemos estado con usted, siento que he aprendido mucho. Ah, sí, sí. Sí. Es lo que pasa que, más o menos, yo siempre he dicho que debe ser explicada en español, ante todo con adultos. No se sientan mal. Así es. La manera en la que yo enseño es debido a la experiencia que ya tengo con tantos adultos y jóvenes en riesgo. Yo doy clases a jóvenes en riesgo. Entonces me oriento mucho a la psicología. Y eso ayuda mucho. Porque fíjese que estos días, que esta semana que, que yo he estado con usted, o sea, me ha obligado, no es que me ha obligado, sino que me ha hecho de que yo haga un espacio durante el día a, a buscar información, a, a ver cómo. <ríe> y es algo involuntario, algo que yo no tenía. <ríe> wow, si se le dice algo involuntario, bendito sea Dios, porque eso es disciplina ya. La disciplina es agarrar un hábito y se logra después de siete días. Dicen los japoneses que toma 66 días, otros dicen que siete días, de hacer la misma cosa a la misma hora todo el tiempo. Y esa es la disciplina, ¿no? Y qué bueno, me alegro, me alegro de haber alcanzado ese poquito, ¿no? En cuenta poco tiempo. Pero sí, la, inspira, eh, la, la invito a que no, los invito a que no se detengan. Si ya agarraron el ritmo, delen, no se detengan. Se lo dice alguien que no sabía que hablaba inglés hasta que tenía 21 años más o menos. <risa> ya me tocó ocupar, porque mi jefe me dijo, viene un contenedor de 46 mil dólares, si se pierde en el camino, viene de la India, y si se pierde, vos me pagas ese ok, y después necesito que hables con este hindú en inglés y que lo convenzas de que venga el salvador y vos por qué no lo haces, le decía eso, vos estudiaste en la americana es que da pena que no bueno, primera vez que hablaba inglés 
Y pues, gracias a Dios, si no hablar inglés, les digo, no sé, ¿qué estaría haciendo ahorita? La verdad, pues soy administrador de empresas, pero aún así, hoy en día, está bien pegado. Ok, chicos. So, animarlos nuevamente. ¿Alguna pregunta? Vamos. Questions, questions. Nuestra última sesión. Uh -huh. No. Ok, Neira, la, la, la Neira la veo así como... ¿Qué pasó ahora? ¿Cómo? La veo así como pensativa, no sé, igual la Verónica casi... No, no, estoy analizando, lo que pasa es que, que el detalle es que por mi trabajo y por todo lo que sea, a veces me cuesta, me cuesta encontrar el tiempo, pero la verdad es que sí, o a veces, ayer me dormí, venía súper cansada y me dormí cuando desperté a las 10 de la noche, ay, no perdí. Ay, pero... Entonces, Oh, qué rico se Sí, todo estrenado. Y entonces, la verdad, es agradecer también la oportunidad, porque esta es una oportunidad bien grande. Sí. O sea, imagínense, estamos estudiando desde nuestra casa, en la comodidad, o sea, no salimos, no nos exponemos y todo, y lo tenemos acá. Pero a veces a mí me cuesta mucho con el tiempo, por el trabajo, los quehaceres de la casa, un montón. Y a veces estoy súper cansada porque entro bien temprano y a veces salgo súper tarde. Pero Entonces, ánimo, gracias. O sea, yo, yo venía y dije, me voy a acostar un momento. Me dormí tres horas y media. Y desperté. Ay, la clase la perdí otra vez. Ya me ha pasado eso, créanme. Sí, sí. pero sí. no, o sea, como estaba diciendo la compañera, la verdad que agradecer. Agradecer también porque es una vocación. Sí, es, es, es amor, créanme eso. Quien ama lo que hace, pues... Haces tan imposible. Una última cosa, hallar el balance entre tu trabajo y la familia se puede, pero tenés que pensar en una línea recta, ¿ok? Y luego tenés que zigzaguear entre una cosa y la otra. Ir zigzagueando, dedicarle tiempo, familia, trabajo, familia, trabajo, y en el medio lo que más te importa. Eh, yo soy de pensar que aprendes inglés no solamente por un trabajo, un mejor salario, una, un ascenso, sino porque al final te va a abrir las puertas a muchas cosas. Y créanme, conozco muchos licenciados en idioma que no hablan bien, no han tenido la experiencia de hablar todos los días, lamentablemente, pero ellos no ven esa oportunidad de que te abren las puertas en inglés al conocimiento. Yo desde pequeño siempre pensé eso y después conocí el internet y empecé a ver un montón de videos, a descargar libros en inglés, a leer, a ver videos, porque es conocimiento que acá en español y menos en nuestro país, no te lo dan. No te lo dan. Entonces, rebuscate. A Milcar me parece que es un joven que lo hace. O sea, se les nota, pues, que se mete en internet, busca contenido, busca a Tony Robbins, conferencista buenísimo, ¿sí? eh, y lee libros. Ese es el único consejo con el que los dejo. Échenle ganas, no se desanimen. El tiempo se hace. Nadie tiene tiempo, nadie sabe cuándo se va a morir, ¿no? Y es la única realidad que, con la que contamos los humanos. Nos vamos a morir, señores lamentablemente, pero el tiempo se hace, nadie lo tiene, ¿ok? So, lo tengo que dejar, se me acabó el tiempo. <ríe> okay. Gracias. Bye. Gracias. Take care, guys. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you.